Hey everybody, Hoosier Jedi here with another review for you. This time talking the Flash episodes, True Colors, and Honey, I Shrunk the Flash Team. So let's get the, the latter out of the way first. Um, this was kind of a nice episode there with um, Barry kind of getting a little bit of a lesson on why hope is not always a great thing. And I mean, I think it is nicely done. <clears throat> Hope can get through people through the hardest times, but having hope and then having it taken away is an extraordinarily painful thing. Never mind the fact that sometimes people will pin a great deal on something that in their hearts they know is a false hope, but as more than one people have said, uh, has said, a false hope is better than no hope. Uh, I'm not really sure if I personally believe that, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and I do like that this episode, ultimately, their efforts don't pan out, and that Dave would have been stuck in jail if Barry hadn't uh, done some extremely fishy stuff and, uh, you know, basically ran him all the way to some monastery in China, where um, I guess the fact that he doesn't, almost certainly does not speak Chinese is not going to be a big deal. I mean, they do say the monks there take a vow of silence, but... Um, they're just going to let this guy who wandered in off the street join them. Seems a little unlikely, but okay. Um, plus, you know, I don't think Dave ever flat out said that he was a Buddhist or anything like that. But <coughs> uh, the whole um, the whole shrinking plot that was, yeah, not not really a fan of that. Uh, True Colors, I thought, was the much better episode. Uh, Barry leading the breakout of his former enemies, who, you know, despite being told that he's an ex-cop with speed powers, no, it never crosses anybody's mind that perhaps he's the Flash, which is just outright moronic. Um, I do like that uh, they kind of showed him uh, engineering that, like MacGyvering that way, his way out of uh, jail. That was nicely done. That was really cool. I liked that a lot. I really wish we would see more of that. You know, the whole thing with like real science, not just techno babble stuff, but like the, a longstanding tradition in the comics is to sort of mix in some real world science and physics into the series and to just to sort of make the flash and everything around him a little more realistic. I remember some of the Grant Morrison Justice League comics. Um, they talked about the Flash's powers in relationship to like the Red Shift and uh, all this other stuff. Uh, particularly in like um, like his first storyline, uh, it was called like Invaders from Mars, where the Justice League fought the Hyper Clan and Flash fights uh, an evil speedster, which was oh that was a great story, such a great story. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, getting back uh, back into things, um, the the, war, the warden turning out to be corrupt and you know working with blacksmith, uh, you know, okay, that, that's not bad. They, um, I'm still not really wild about Amunet as a character, but Katie Sackoff is clearly having a grand old time, so I can kind of let uh, let things go. Um, of course, I do think it's a little ridiculous that everybody that knew that Barry was the Flash. Um, basically is dead uh, by the end of the episode with uh, the thinker as the exception uh that's a little bit too convenient but okay fine whatever um these are just sort of things that are are inevitable i suppose but still it definitely does feel like extraordinarily convenient writing that uh, i mean it just happened to accidentally kill the warden and all the guards who would also have been aware of Barry's identity. I mean, come on, really? Um, I did like that they took the time to sort of flesh Becky out a little bit more. I thought she was, def she was definitely one of the better done bus, bus metas. Somebody who just kind of got caught up in her own powers a little too much. And at the end of the day, was ultimately a good person. I mean, she even says, like, I I'm going to stay here in jail. I don't want to use my powers to accidentally hurt somebody anymore. And then, of course, the tragedy of all is that she's the new host for, for the thinker. Now, um, <laughs> uh, that is, that's certainly an interesting thing. Um, 
Uh, and uh, we do get to see that uh, DeVoe uses uh, Weeper's tears to sort of screw with his wife's mind. Again, further cementing the fact that uh, he does not, despite his own words, view their relationship as a partnership anymore. She is ultimately just another tool to him. <coughs> uh, the, the way they used uh, Ralph's powers to sort of get around uh, the whole thing with DeVoe being dead, I mean, that was nicely done. But as people have pointed out, they probably could have pulled the same trick using the holographic technology from that HR had, but that technology, despite being incredibly useful, um, nobody ever seems to use that. No, nor does anybody sort of like, oh, hey, oh my god, it's Harrison Wells, the guy who's wanted for murder, walking around. Maybe we should call the police. But, okay, whatever. Ah, man, how much uh, how much do I end up having to say that sometimes? Well, not as much as my, tip, my, my typical review of an episode of Legends, but still, uh, the point remains. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, these are both, well, okay, Honey, I Shrunk the Flash team wasn't that great, but True Colors was definitely a pretty solid episode. Uh, we do get to finally see Barry out of jail. This is all done legally and above board. So that's really great, but uh, still, there's definitely uh, quite a few problems on the horizon. And I do like the moment that they have the moment where even the thinker doesn't quite know what's going to happen yet, and he seems to just actually be getting a kick out of the whole situation. It's like, wow, for once I'm not really sure what's happening. But uh, and I love the fact that he just seems completely oblivious to the fact that this could potentially be. Um, how the Flash team beats him. But again, given the thinker's arrogance, perhaps that's not surprising. So, uh, guys, I'm going to call it here. As always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Hoosier Jedi. Please also join me on Tumblr at Jedi Reviewer. Until next time, take care and have a good one.